the college football experience week zero reaction show on the sports gambling podcast network is brought to you by our very own Patreon. Yes, yeah, score exclusive perks, content, and contests, including our NFL win totals contest with a thousand dollar prize up for grabs. Join today at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Patreon. We're also brought to you by Game Time. Download the Game Time app. Get last winning tickets at the lowest price guaranteed. Use the promo code CFBX for twenty dollars off. Once again, that's promo code CFBX. We're also brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app now. Use the promo code SGP. New customers can score two hundred dollars in bonus bets instantly when they bet just five dollars on any college football bet. Only on the DraftKings Sportsbook with the promo code SGP. This is Randy Cross. You're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. Yes. Welcome. Welcome to the college football experience week zero reaction show. Oh, I'm excited. We had a lot of things. We had a two cranes holding up a scoreboard. We had lightning delays. We had four yards passing in in a game. You had the lead for almost (laughs) the entire fucking game. We're going to be talking all about it. We got a score perfect prediction from your boy Dundee. Boom. All right. We're going to talk all about it. Uh, perhaps you're wondering who the hell you're listening to. My name is Colby Swigga Database Dan, a.k.a. Pick Dundee. That's not a pick. This is a pick. He was raised in the land down under where a man thinks on his feet, speaks with his fists, and lives by his wits. When Dundee happened, he was a superstar. I'm probably drinking too much and celebrating too much and not sleeping. I would have killed a normal man, but nah, nah, that's gone. The medical advice I got from that was, was like being hit by lightning. Pretend it never happened and get on with your life. Mm. Look, what a day. It was just it's a little sample. It's like going to Costco, you know? <laughs> you're hungry. You're hungry. You're going to, co- you know, but you stop somewhere to go to Costco and you get a little... A little, little, little tiny little uh, pizza roll. Little nibble. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what it was, and it felt damn good. But goddamn it, I want a whole meal. You're but no, right. it was a lot of fun. It was a tease. It was a tease. I am joined by my co-host. Give it up for former, former JMU Duke defensive back, the burrito eating, sideline kiss stealing, wheeling and dealing, Patty C in the place to be. Hi. Oh, it's a bit fantastic. It was a oh, bit. Yeah. Fa- now, I, I would have been, I mean, I think I did all right, but damn, did I lose one just a minute ago? That hurt. <laughs> I was animated. Felt uh, good to feel the rush. It was right there, right there. But four passing yards, uh, it makes it harder to get and, a W. And his final pass was fucking money. Who th- who would have known it wasn't his fault? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> After that, see right in the fucking. Right in the kisser to we quote are, uh, Mean Gene Okerlund. Of course, uh, referring to the Louisiana Tech Florida uh, International. The airport, the airport had the lead the entire game. <laughs> that may be With the first four time. four yards passing. Yeah. Hank Bachmeyer, 333 passing yards. <laughs> <laughs> Football's a complex game, all right? right. Uh, man, I mean, we still covered it. and James. Here's what I love. Is Five I- of 14, four passing <laughs> yards. That's 0.3 <laughs> yards per attempt. <laughs> I mean, I'm an interception. The, the airport was rolling today. Great, great. The chance really you say it was grounded. Apparently. I mean the, the aerial attack, but the airport was upset 14, nothing at one point <laughs> had it at 17 to seven. I think, I mean, this is a game. I felt like now the, here's the thing. Like I gave away, I said, take FIU on the money line, but I also said, take the points on the morning show this morning. I said, take both to cover your ass. Yeah. So hopefully that covers your ass. some. But <laughs> God damn it, man. I feel like I was, t- I could taste the victory when he missed that field goal. All we need is one first down. Yeah. Come on, Mike McIntyre dial up something creative. They completely stop running the ball. Yeah. Samari Lawrence, 15 carries 139 yards. Yeah. Stud 9.3 yards for rush. Stud. Like, we're just going to keep passing. How about you give him the ball. Even on dude, I, we talked about this. Instead of punting on fourth and three, 
I knew they were going to get back in field goal range. I think you got to go for it. I know you're at your own 38 or something like that, <laughs> 34 or something like that, but you got to go for it. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how many more plays uh, Louisiana Tech actually ran than Florida International. Yes, you do have to go for it because you're, you're, but your defense became a sip. The defense was pretty stout for the first, what? Yeah. First quarter. They're on the fucking field all game. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I got to look up total plays, but. It, 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 total passing plays for Florida International 14 <laughs> and total run plays 30. So what's that? 44 plays. Meanwhile, Louisiana Tech 44 passes and 39 rushes. Jesus. So what is that? Uh it's like uh 83 a versus I I'm, I versus, don't do math. Versus 44. I only do math when I have to. They ran twice as many plays. How did it take them that long to get the lead? <laughs> what they got the lead with like what? 5 minutes left? 4 minutes left? <laughs> yeah. No, less. Yeah. Less, I think. I think it was like a minute and a half left. The Florida International <laughs> just put on a a clinic, a, a a a lesson of how to limit the game and and make the game shorter and and win on possession. Uh, I enjoy Nathan Haynes in the chat. He goes, "Anyone catch that last uh, Louisiana Tech two point conversion play? That was like the Jim Jim Zorn Washington Redskins play against the New York Giants. <laughs> the old that, muddle huddle. Oh, that never really works. No." Ezekiel Elliott did that shit last year with the Cowboys, yeah. right? The only way that would ever work is if you actually threw the screen pass out to the perimeter and <laughs> you uh, you blocked it. Right. I feel like I see that play happen more and more, and I it it, it bothers me because yeah. I don't know that it. Has so ever you're not worked. running up the gut when you have one blocker and five fucking uh, defense alignment. Yeah. Why would you? Don't try the jet sweep there. <laughs> Uh, it was, it was uh questionable. It was, uh, yeah. I mean, it, uh, this was a, it's still hilarious watching these games and uh, you know, shout out to the chat, shout out to Dryden, but uh, I'm going to disagree with you. Dryden in the chat says hot take, but Caleb Williams, isn't that good? Did you see that fucking play <laughs> and the fact that he never turns the ball over? Like Caleb Williams never really turns the ball over. I mean, uh, he, he is that good, but USC's defense is not that good. I, I feel like the college game day dudes were talking about this exact thing, you know, pregame. They're like, oh, or Herb Street, who I, I, I hate to agree with, but sometimes you got it. Right. He's right. <laughs> 278 yards uh, and four touchdown passes are phenomenal numbers in, yeah. uh, for a normal person, but we're comparing them to last year's Heisman numbers. And so it doesn't look that great, but that's but a pretty damn good game. Let's go chronologically. Let's try to yeah. go chronologically. Yeah. I, I'm never good to organize things. So yeah. uh, Navy Notre Dame was the first game to kick uh, Notre Dame's offensive line. Very, very impressive. Yeah. <laughs> look, I, I, I don't want to discredit Sam Hartman. I'm a big fan of Sam Hartman throughout his career, but I, it is hilarious when they cut to halftime at ESPN and they're like, this is all about them having a, a big time quarterback. I'm like, no, it is not. <laughs> uh, I mean, no disrespect. Hartman played great, but I'm saying like, if you watch the first two drives of the game, you're like, they're getting blown off yeah. the ball. I, I feel SMA like SMA is just yes, like that guy who just threw for field. four yards would have won at Navy today. Right. The yeah. the kid from FIU, I'm drawing a blank on his name right now. Uh, Grayson. Uh, yeah, Grayson uh, Allen, right? Allen. No, uh, no, no. No, no, no. Grace. Well, he just said his fucking name. What, what, I gotta pull that back up. It's uh what the fuck is his name? Bah, 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 bah. James. Grayson James. Grayson James yeah. yeah. Uh but yeah. Okay. And this is the one game that uh, you know, I did I I did say that I don't like touching this game, but I did take the twenty one and a half right before. I only put twenty bucks on it. If yeah. you listen to the morning show, I said take the under, and that was a fucking sweat. That was a <laughs> <laughs> was what was the number on that sweat. again? 40, 48 and a half. <laughs> so, I mean, 40, when, when Navy had the ball, I like got the 20. You're just like, oh, God. Oh, God. Don't <laughs> score. Best field goal ever. Yeah. Um, Notre Dame, uh, 28 points at half. You were like, oh, this is, this thing is cooked, but kind of uh, doubted back. I mean, the and Hartman half. did look good, but I mean, Navy, uh, let me ask you about this. Hartman looked great. The Notre Dame offense looked great. But let me ask you about the Notre Dame defensive line. Yeah. That that was coming into the season a little bit of a concern. And it's weird. Like Navy actually outgained Notre Dame today. <laughs> really? <laughs> 363. Now they got eight point three. No, they did not outgain really? Notre Dame. I, oh, I'm looking at oh, you know what? I'm looking at last year's fucking box score. What the <laughs> fuck? ESPN. Uh yeah, Notre Dame destroyed them. 
I'm sitting there like, how the fuck did they have game him? Tie, yeah. Three of six in, in terms of other uh no but i i i pathetic passing i performances. think if you're gonna call out one thing like obviously notre dame's offense looked great and there's potential to be really good but this is the best quarterback they've had since fuck i'm not, I'm not gonna say closet i'm gonna say since rick meyer um but yeah i, I think that's a yeah i mean uh ever golson was very good you know but i think yeah so in terms of nfl prospect probably since rick meyer they only had 169 yards of offense brutal uh, but let me let me tell you, Navy had some guys open. Uh, what do you think? Uh, <laughs> had some guys open. What were you gonna say? Uh, uh, Brady Quinn. You think Hartman's better? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Uh, next week they play Tennessee State. We won't learn anything, but then two weeks from now we will learn a little bit. But uh, Penny, see, I mean, that was impressive. I can't take anything away from it. It was better than what I thought I would. I I knew this game, and 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 shout out to the chat. They were saying that Navy only ran out of the shotgun nine times, and and I know you addressed this saying. You yeah, know. the triple option is not going to completely die, and you know, I, 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 I didn't. We watch didn't see a call go against them either about that. As far as uh, as like far as the, shot blocks, yeah. So maybe they at made least, the adjustment. At least I didn't, but I did. I got to be honest. I put it on the Mercer game at like, but by the time <laughs> halftime, I had it on. I put the Notre Dame on the other TV. Yeah. But there was no sound, so I wasn't paying as much attention to it. Well, I mean, maybe they didn't get penalized, but they certainly didn't dominate. You know, offensively, they managed three points, and they got that in the last. Yeah, five minutes of the game. I, I, for some reason, I thought they would have gotten more than 169 yards because I felt like they were actually moving the well, ball right okay off the bat, on the ground. You yeah. know, it was just like the first few plays. They're just only uh, 2.6 yards per rush. So maybe I'm just full of shit over here. Certainly possible. I, I, I think there was uh, uh, your first impression probably had a, a larger impact on your overall take on the game. Plus, if you stop watching the game. No, no, I, mean, I, I still had it on. I just I moved it to the Mercer game on right. the main. Well, you didn't really need it was to be 28 picked. nothing. Yeah, you know what I mean? So yeah. uh and and you know that that offense, it, that's like being down a hundred nothing. You know yeah. what I mean? Like uh, you're not coming back from that. Um, the, will Navy be a bull team? Overreaction? Will Navy be a bull team? Who knows? Because look, Marcus Freeman year two, and with Sam Hartman being sharp. 19- I'll tell you, man. I like the offensive creativity from the OC. You did not see that creativity with with Tommy Reese. With Tommy Reese. I didn't watch it closely enough to really be, you know, I thought it was a lot more creative tracking the, uh, it was a lot more creative than, okay. than uh, you would see traditionally with Tommy Reese. Well, it was super clean. Uh, I mean, 19 to 23 from Hartman. He was sharp as hell. I mean, a couple of those were drops. He was pretty much like, you know, perfect on the day. Um, so yeah, I think what, what, what's your take on Notre Dame moving forward? Is this too, too small of a sample size? I mean, they certainly look good, but I, the one thing I would say, and the stats kind of make me look like, like uh, is I thought, you know, the first two drives, I thought Navy was slicing and dicing them a little bit on the ground, which coming into the season, I knew that if we were going to, uh, you know, buy into the preseason hype, one of the things that was a concern of the preseason hype was the defensive line. Yeah. Um, I would say, generally speaking, the beginning of a game is a better indicator of what you're looking at with that team, because, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, it's certainly in, in game adjustments is a thing, but what you're seeing at the beginning of a game against Navy, you're probably going to see a more extreme version of obviously against better teams. So well, Ohio they play Tennessee st- state next week. And, and I kind of think Navy's better than Tennessee state. <laughs> yeah. So uh, they're going to be fine yeah. until they get to Ohio state. And then if they're getting pushed around on the first drive, uh, by Navy, they're probably going to get pushed around even more by Ohio state on the first drive. And th- they find themselves down. It's not so easy to play when you don't have leverage, you know, when you're not yeah. ahead by 21 points, but I mean, quarter. you can't, I can't say anything negative about that today. It, you know, I thought the offense was a little more creative. I still worry about their wide receivers. Cause even though they made some catches, maybe, yep. <laughs> maybe not known for their defensive back play. Um, so uh, that will be interesting to see, but not next week, two weeks from now when they play at NC state, a great house, dude. Uh, you can't say anything bad. The really. Freshman wide receiver from Texas is uh had a pretty nice game, yeah. but we'll see. Yeah. I mean, like you said, the rain, well, Navy missed a field goal. They missed. I mean, can we talk about the downfield passing? I love the option, but fuck they have uh, a big time fourth down two yeah. receivers run into each other. It should have been, should have been a yeah. 30 yard complete hey, lava tight. You don't have to throw the ball <laughs> 300 feet dude, in the, the fucking air. The worst one is the, the one, like it was like the running back fly yeah. and it's like, dude, he beat everybody on that defense by like 30 yards yeah. and left time. Just, just and the ball is just fi- <laughs> game, like you're playing a game of 500, yeah. right? Uh, <laughs> 
Remember that game? The kids still play that. Um, Got to bring it back. Uh, let's talk about the next one, but shout out to Notre Dame. You guys lived up to the hype. You look really fucking good. Navy. Part of me enjoyed that because Brian Newberry, everyone thought, Oh, you know, yeah. Brian Newberry, <laughs> hey, just to let you know, Kenny Amatolo kept it within one score last year. Hello. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Let me ask you this. Um, is Notre Dame a threat against a team like Ohio state in South Bend in a few weeks? Maybe I want to see the we NC State see. game. The NC State game will teach me a, will teach me a lot more. That's than true. Like, That's next yeah. week, right? No, no, no. no a couple Tennessee weeks. State, then, then NC, NC State. State. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and and we got to see Ohio State. Although we can pretty much assume well, they play gonna... Indiana. Who's 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 who would win? Tennessee State or Indiana? I'm fucking with you. Um, <laughs> uh, all right, let's hop on over to the next one. All right, because this game, <laughs> UTEP, Jacksonville State. <laughs> oh man. I look, I gave away, we were doing a parlay read ad read a month ago, three weeks ago. And I said, take the over on USC San Jose state at, at that point. It was 63 and a half, but even at 66, I told you to take it. And I said, take Jacksonville state as a, as a one point dog money line. I know that's not too juicy, but man, I had, I had to, I had to sweat this one. I feel like Jacksonville state probably should have won by more, but I don't know. UTEP, Gavin Harrison throws like a 50 yard touchdown pass to start the game. Should have been a t- uh, touchdown. The guy drops it. Then you have, you know, Jacksonville state get up to it. I think like a 10, nothing lead. UTEP cuts it to 10, seven. I think UTEP missed a field goal. Ja- no, no. Jackson state misses a field goal. Uh, and then you have some of the most questionable coaching from both coaches. Look, we love rich rod, but yeah. Uh, unless I know there's speculation, maybe that Zion Webb was injured. I didn't think he was. Zion Webb throws a screen pass, air mails it on a critical, critical third and one, right? Just a terrible fucking pass, right? right. But he, yoink. But there's like seven minutes left in the game. They get the ball back with five minutes. So their defense holds, yeah. right? Five minutes left. If you get like a, it might even be like 4 30 left in the game. If you get a couple first downs, the game is fucking over. And yeah. you bring in a backup quarterback? I, I, I was dumbfounded. And then he goes, <laughs> he does like power run with them three times yeah. and then they punt. And then UTEP gets in range of tying the, the game up. And then they have a third and one where for some reason they go, they go third and one from probably the 40, right. Or yeah. the 35 or something of Jacksonville States. And they, they do, you know, just an out, a, a, a fucking dime by Gavin Hardison yeah. right in the hands of the fucking receiver drops it. But you would think, okay, third and one, that means they're, they're if they did that, they're going to run it on fourth down right? or kick the field goal to tie it Punt it away. No, they throw another pass oh, again. Throw it away. And he, I think he gets, no, he gets picked. He throws it really late. That game was fucking insane. I, I questioned the coaching on both sides at times, but poor QB ratings from both quarterbacks, 29 QB rating from Hardison. 38 is a QB rating from Zion Webb. Uh, drastic improvement needed from both a defensive struggle there, but you did nail your money line pick there. So very nice. And NC Nick, who had UTEP in the national championship, you know, it's possible if they went out, but uh, you know, unlikely. NC Nick did text me that he is no longer a fan of UTEP <laughs> <laughs> after that coaching. Some of that coaching blunders, absolutely fucking hilarious. Oh, I am a fan of them giving uh, Gavin Hardison the uh, Bay Bluffenberg or the. Uh, I dig that too, man. Uh, what is that? Uh, his son. Um, his son. I know his son's name too. I I was talking about it earlier today. Yeah. Uh man, can you find that? Yeah, I'm gonna I don't want to fuck that one up. Loffenberg son is uh Luke Loffenberg. Yeah, Luke Loffenberg. Rest yeah. in peace, man. And obviously, Babe Loffenberg, former former, former Dallas Cowboy. Cowboy and Washington Redskin and San Diego Charger and and Tecmo Super Bowl player. There you go. Oh uh, man, but Patty C. Richra, one and zero, one and zero at the FBS level. Jacksonville State, one and zero at the FBS level. A nice start. Are they going to be contenders in the CUSA? Yes. I mean, I, yes. I mean, look, uh, I feel great on my Jacksonville state over my UTEP under it's looking pretty damn good right now. Um, yeah, I think that, I mean, I'm excited because we're going to see Jacksonville state like on like six weekday games. <laughs> so we're, we're going to cover them. This is why college football needs to spread out the games. Like today, people complaining about week zero. I love it. This is the way today's schedule is how every Thursday and every Wednesday should look in my opinion. Yeah. 
Like give us this amount of games. You give the NFL Sunday. Yeah. You give the NFL Monday. Yeah. Tuesday. We should have this amount of games Wednesday, this amount of games. Thursday, this amount of ten, games, 10 games. I mean, somewhere between somewhere between six four to 10. and yeah. Like maybe if you want to do like Tuesday, just four. Yeah. Wednesday get six Thursday, eight Friday, eight. I like it. Saturday. You can still do it. And I'm talking FCS too. So you have 267 teams or some yeah. shit to throw I, in there. I agree. Yeah. You should always well, be because you get to cover these a lot better. I mean, we get, well, I watch yeah. every snap of every game today. Yeah. Um, now, uh, Jacksonville State, who knew they would be presumably in the database top 25 whenever that drops? Damn right, baby. Week, Number one. Week one <laughs> of their uh, existence in the FBS level. Let's go. Uh, all right, let's talk about the next game because this game pissed us off, even though uh, the Aztecs got it done. Aztecs, you can try to go air raid, but what if the air raid don't want you? What if, what if that old bruising style of football you yeah. play? Is your real identity? Yeah, this is you know? a uh, square peg in a round hole. I I took San Diego State and uh, look, they knocked out Mick, uh, Mickey Rourke. Or they made Nathan Rourke look like Mickey Rourke or <laughs> Curtis Rourke in the look like R- Mickey Rourke. Yeah, uh, and that was pretty much the game. But <laughs> that, God damn, is their their air raid ugly? I know it's game one, and I still say, and look, I like the area for certain teams. Now, you're a power running team. You got red man at fucking tight end. He's a stud and damn. If I don't always love that San Diego state defense, man, yeah. and, and this game shouldn't have been that close. Well, let, let they, me, that, 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 this game was 20 to six and they had a 102 yard interception return for a touchdown. Should have been 27 to six and the game, but they call a ridiculous rough. Fucking ridi- and, oh yeah. And let's add into that Jacksonville state one, kicking out that safety for that targeting and Jacksonville state was the worst fucking call of the season so far. Patty yeah, C they, they started early. They started early with this bullshit. Yeah. Who was in charge? Who can we talk to about this? <laughs> Who is it? Is it Goodell? And it just trickles down. We need Moose Johnson in, t- in charge of uh, college football. We do. Let me, let me push back on you a little bit. On, though. on what the Bobcats San Diego state. 31 rushes, only 27 passes. It was Ohio. Curtis work went out after 10 passes, eight at 10. That's pretty. No, no, no. You said, hold on. How many rushes? Um, 31 for 31 rushes and 27 passes. No, my point is they, they can try to go air raid, but, but you, you got to come home. They <laughs> okay. tried early and they weren't getting any fucking points. Okay. So, they, so they're like, they Hey, adjusted. you know what? Let's just start running the ball. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, ugly win. And that's the way I, when Rocky long was coached at San Diego state, that's when I fell in love with those Aztecs. Cause they, they would win ugly play. Awesome defense. Yeah. Awesome punter. Awesome special teams. They're, um, they're, 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 uh, they're the D- Detroit Pistons of yes. the West coast football <laughs> scene somehow in San Diego. I don't understand <laughs> it. Don't try to, don't try to make city. sense of it. Right. Um, all right, look, we want to talk about the rest of the games and I want to talk about your, your points, Patty C. But before we do that, I want to tell you, that the college football experience week zero reaction show is brought to you by the game time app. Yes. Buying tickets to your favorite events. Shouldn't be stressful. Game time's the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all sports, music, comedy, and theater that is near you. Uh, forget planning months in advance. Game time has deals on tickets right up to the day of the event. Uh, the game and they have the game time guarantee. You gotta love this. All right. It means you always get the best price. If you find tickets in the same section and row for less patty seat game time, will credit you 110% of the difference. Yes, snag the tickets without the stress with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, uh, use the promo code CFBX for twenty dollars off. Once again, terms apply. Create that account, redeem, redeem this code CFBX for twenty dollars off. Download the Game Time app. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. We're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Yes, look, I have my fantasy draft tomorrow. I already have my college fantasy draft. I got my NFL one tomorrow. So time's running out. You got until September seventh at Underdog Fantasy. All right. But what are you doing, folks? Get championship ready for your home league by trying out best ball on underdog fantasy. All right. And what is best ball? You're probably wondering. I don't know. I mean, most of us should know this, but in case you're one of those guys uh, or gals, all right. Uh, so it's a live snake draft, no waivers, no trades. You set it, you forget about it, and boom, underdog does the rest. And get this $15 million is how much you is how much on the line in the largest fantasy football contest of all time by underdog fantasy and $3 million go into first place. Do you have what it takes to get first place is the question. Visit underdogfantasy.com, find them in the app store and sign up with the promo code SGPN or, uh, you know, get that app 
uh, to get your first deposit doubled up to hundred dollars. If you use that, uh, that promo code SGPN, uh, concern with your play call 1-800 gambler. All right, Patty C. So Brady Hoke, San Diego state. I know NC Nick was on the under, I think I took the under too. I got I have to go back and look. So that game, but I had San Diego state winning this one. Yeah. Did you, who'd you take in this one? I had uh, San Diego state winning, but I had um, Ohio covering, which they did not do 20 to 13 uh, with this two and a half point spread. Curtis work getting injured. Like you said, probably came back too fast. You said it was ACL, uh, what in December, I think it was like late November, early December. It was right before the Mac championship. Yeah. So what like probably Thanksgiving weekend, maybe rushed back a little bit, but, uh, that, I mean, eight of 10 while he was in the game, obviously losing him a huge, uh, L because the, the, the backup comes in Harris and goes, you know, three interceptions. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I think that skews the uh, the pick a little bit, but I should have uh, accounted for Curtis Work being a fragile I, I, man. I think me and Sack of the Money Green were saying, no, he's not. Or no, me, me, it was me and Crane Dog that were saying, like, oh man, he's coming back too early. Yeah. Now who knows if that was what happened, or maybe San Diego State just played their punishing yeah. style of football again. Either way, they got an ugly win, which is their staple. Greg, Greg Kalish in the chat saying Ohio down a uh, touchdown, had a chance on a fourth and one, but they punted. <laughs> I mean, isn't it, doesn't that make college football fucking hilarious is knowing the strategies like rich rod driving me crazy with that. Uh, it's, this is what makes college football so great is like, it's wackiness. You get, you know, uh, situations like Ohio doing that. Now, it, if you bet on it, it's going to drive you absolutely fucking crazy. I would argue the Florida international thing. We had, they almost won a game with four yards passing. They, they were up for 58 minutes and like 30 seconds with, uh, <laughs> with four yards passing it was fucking incredible. Uh, but uh, coach, coaching decisions when your quarterback is averaging 0.3 yards per attempt and your running back is averaging <laughs> over nine yards per attempt and you spend the entire last quarter <laughs> trying to throw the ball. Hi, yeah. you have a stud running back. Uh, <laughs> what do you do? Question our, uh, our pick of Mike McIntyre. He's a, a defensive guy. Okay. <laughs> he was a, and his defense did a damn good job for the, I mean, they're just on the field the whole game. Yeah. Uh, UMass, New Mexico state. This game was fantastic. And your boy <laughs> Dundee did take UMass and the points. And I, since I did lock up the, I actually locked up the over. I don't teams. know how yeah. you, let me, let me, let me, let me take a shit real quick on you. You took, <laughs> uh, you, how are you going to take UMass and the points? What was the spread on this one? By the way, it like was six and a half, six seven, and a half, yeah. which means, but we, we both took New Mexico state. We locked their season I, over. Cause right? I, well, I still think New Mexico state's going to be fine. If anything, they looked better offensively today and shout well, out to shout UMass, out to GBO who <laughs> says say? like De, they kept Diego Pavia in the game. When you have Stow Stowers, the uh, Texas A&M transfer, I was expecting Stowers to start. So a little yeah. concerned on my over ticket with, with New Mexico state, but I still think we'll be fine. Jerry kills done this before. If anything, I love my, you know, I have a ticket on UMass on the over. And the real reason why I was buying into UMass was Don Brown and what they brought in. We're going to have to have a segment this year called Clemson quarterbacks because <laughs> Zion Webb at Jacksonville State, one and zero Clemson quarterback. Yeah, uh, Fomacha Khan, whatever the fuck his name is <laughs> at UMass, he's a baller, dude. He's a baller. The stat line is pretty legit today. No, he's a baller. Like yeah. he he played his ass off today. Yeah, right. Former Clemson quarterback. Southern Miss is starting a transfer quarterback from Clemson. Yeah. And we have Oregon State with DJU. Isn't it going to be hilarious when Club Nick struggles? <laughs> even though I don't think he will because he has Garrett Riley, and but four it, other and former four Clemson. other Clemson quarterbacks are just sitting there chucking the ball away. <laughs> oh, it'd be fantastic. Um Fama Chan. How do you Fomachikan. say Fomachikan. I don't I don't think I'm pronouncing it correctly, but that's the way I'm saying it. Uh, 192 rushing yards or uh, passing yards. 96 rushing yards. I hit on this on the, uh, if you listen to our UMass preview, when I lock this up, if you watched, I watched way too much UMass last year. All right. Yeah. And what I knew was I thought the defense was actually not as bad as people thought it was. They're on the field the whole game. They could not get first downs. Right. Yeah. So they didn't have any quarterback play. They had the worst set of receivers. I feel like in all of college football <laughs> this year, they go out, they get a couple FCS kids. They get yeah. Christian Wells who started for app state at wide out. Yeah. They get Mark Pope from the Miami Miami Hurricanes. They got some guys. Yeah. Uh that that were 
like good players. Uh, the, the Arizona kid, they got a transfer from Arizona. I'm drawing a blank on his name. He scored a touchdown today. Um, mm. He scored the first touchdown of the game, actually. Um, I'm trying to get that pulled up in a minute. I got, um, I got it right here. Hang on. I got it right here. But my point is, is they brought in all this talent, uh, Anthony Simpson. So they brought in uh, uh, like, to me, they get the Clemson kid, a quarterback. They also brought in uh, the, the Western Kentucky or Western Carolina transfer a quarterback. So they have a little bit more depth. When I thought about all that, I was like, man, this team's going to be a lot better. Now it's only one game, but, but they've they, already equaled their win total yes, of last year. And they look good, man. <laughs> they look good. The defense looks good. We should have known. He's a fucking winner, man. He's he not does just going to build. Yes. Uh, in each of his uh, three previous stops, including UMass, you know, no more than six wins in his first year. And then by year three, at least 10. So he, he builds at every place in year two. He's maybe ahead of schedule here, but yes, pretty nice. Yes. This fourth quarter, by the way, Northeast football is back. UConn was bowling <laughs> last year. Morris got that going. UMass has got it going. All right. It's rolling. Babers baby. went to a bowl game last year. Northeast football is on fire. Holy cross is fucking dominating That's the true. FCS. We'll see what Boston All college right. does. We'll see what Rutgers, Rutgers is does. bowling. <laughs> All right. Uh, Look. Uh, <laughs> there was, uh, there were two touchdowns sc- scored in the first three quarters of this game. There were seven scored in the fourth quarter of this game. What? Ha- I, I guess you're right. Like the defense is wore down. The offense has exploded. There was a pick six in there. Yeah. Um. So, but that's an entertaining ending to the game. Dude, that was a fun game to watch. Shout out to Moneyline Mac talking about Don Brown as that defense flying around. Uh, Weehawks say UMass to cover uh, against Auburn next week. Yes, let's go. All right. We this was <laughs> by the way, UMass New Mexico State is the SEC bowl right. because they're both they pl- they play more I feel oh, like it's a conference game. Yeah, that's yeah. an SEC conference game. So yeah. they, they play uh more games in <laughs> in in College Station than fucking Georgia does. All right. <laughs> so as far as I'm concerned, they're they're SEC members. Um that's right. let's let's I mean, dude, I, <clears throat> Jerry Kill, I still think is gonna be fine. Like the offense still scored 30 points. <clears throat> I'm a little worried. Well, next week they get uh they get Western Illinois the Leathernecks who were winless in the FCS. Get right, <clears throat> get and right game. UMass gets Auburn, and we didn't talk about the other games here. San Diego State next week it's Idaho State. They should be fine. That's Cody Hawkins' first game, uh, and uh, Ohio gets the fucking Long Island Shocks. Yeah, well, they'll be fine. All right, Sandy, you got to be a little bit worried about Idaho State though, right? No, not Idaho. Idaho State sucks. Oh, Idaho. Yeah. State. Okay, Idaho was um, when they went. Idaho is playoffs last year. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now let me ask you this. East Tennessee state gets Jacksonville state. This is a letdown spot. East Tennessee state's not a bad FCS. Watch out for the Buccaneers uh, yeah. and UTEP. UTEP gets incarnate word. Watch out incarnate words, <sighs> FCS playoff team. That's going to be a good one. That could be a good one. Um, Are they partying down in Jacksonville, Alabama? Oh, for sure. I mean, that ha- what's great is that stadium was under construction. But it didn't look nearly as bad as yeah. the SEC stadium under construction, <laughs> I, which I guess kind of makes sense because the SEC stadiums are a lot bigger. But how pathetic yeah. was that SEC crowd? They it does not matter more for Vanderbilt. It's a home game to enter the season Dude. in what could be a big season for Van, a bowl season for Vanderbilt. But you see the? Do you see the <laughs> like locker people. room? Yeah. It's like a construction tarp. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of this one time I did stand up in Apple Valley, California. And they're like, yeah, you're gonna. It was a paid gig. They're like, come out to this bar in Apple Valley. And me, I bring Rob, mm-hmm. and me and Rob go out there. And what the address? We look at the address, and we're like, you know, Google Maps on your iPhone. You're sitting there. And you're like, this is it. All I see is a gigantic construction tarp. <laughs> we we pull back the construction tarp. It's like a, a it's like a is- bar, but like. Get him. Uh, I don't know if it's fully counts as a bar. It's like a, yeah, just a like a some plywood makeshift right. bar. Yeah, um, but. Uh, Dude, that's what that was classic. Of, and then you add in the scoreboard on two cranes in the weather <laughs> where it's moving. Please keep it like that. Yeah. Can, and and I'm glad in a way. Look, I wanted Hawaii because I love Hawaii and I, I want their football program to succeed. And I thought Timmy Chang has got this team playing a lot better, man. I think every game is going to be tough when you play Hawaii. Yeah. However, I want Vanderbilt to go undefeated at home this year because <laughs> nobody <laughs> goes into the construction zone and gets a dub. <laughs> Bring your hard hat. Shaker bombs. That's right. Brandon Shaker bombs, your quarterback. <laughs> 351 yards for uh dude. Hawaii, Shager, they don't throw the that pick at the one yard line. Yeah. They they might win that fucking yeah, game. That penalty yeah. was brutal because they got a touchdown the play before. <laughs> Called back. I mean, look, I am on the Vandy over. I know <laughs> we've we, but 
I'm a little concerned. Either that or Hawaii is a lot better. I knew Hawaii was getting better, but yeah. I, I, I mean, look, I, I took Vanderbilt minus 17 and a half. I ate shit on that. Well, I feel like as a program, like Hawaii's had some really rough years over the last two years, but they are much better and more talented program than they, what, what they've been. So if they're coming back to where they should be, yeah, then this but is he's what doing we it fast, expect. man. Yeah. That he's would be a quick fast. turnaround and maybe Vanderbilt's taking a step back, but they didn't look bad. No, Vanderbilt still looked all right. Yeah. But still I didn't see right. any yeah. exceptional talent jumping on the screen. AJ Swan had a nice game, 19 to 30, 258, three touchdowns, no picks, but he doesn't look like a special quarterback to me. Yeah. Max in the chat saying, how was UMass the only dog winner today? Not true. Jacksonville state was a two point dog, man. Jacksonville state and UMass. Um, let's get over and talk. So, I mean, Hawaii plays Stanford Friday night. Well, I think they could win that dude. It's on the <laughs> Island. Now it's a that's lot of true. travel. It's a lot of fucking travel. That's All true. right. But you get away from the construction zone. You get to the Ching complex, the complex, bring your membership. Tough. That's right. All right. There's Check a, out the spa 25 meter pool with yeah. <laughs> above ground. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Yeah. Stanford uh, game one for Troy Taylor. That game's going to be fascinating Friday night. This could be a one where we working out the, getting the live bullets, working out the kinks in week zero pays dividends for Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah. Vanderbilt uh, gets Alabama a and M next. They should cruise. Uh, let's talk. Let's talk about the game that I predicted the score perfectly. If you go to my Twitter at TCE, or I'm sorry. Well, if you go to, yeah, at TCE on SGPN, the college football experience, Twitter, Noah posted this. <laughs> um, and then my personal Twitter at the Colby D I did say hammer the over, but uh, I was talking on our show on our pick show. And I said, USC will win 56 to 28 over you over San Jose state and San Jose state will cover the 30 and a half. And damn it. That didn't come true all the way. I, I nailed this game. Boom. 56, 28 on the nose, nailed the exact score. And Talk to me. Nailed Call the 1 800 pick Dundee folks. All right. <laughs> Here. I, I need to play something for that. I need to play like, let's just go with this. Oh no, 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 no. Let's go this. Let's go. Let's go. That's a perfect, perfect score. Pick music. Yeah, here perfect on score. Perfect score here. <laughs> I'm bowling turkeys over here. Uh, what do you think? I mean, USC. Here's my thing. And Caleb Williams, uh, uh, Dryden's our guy, but Caleb Williams is fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Now I knew that San Jose State's defense lost a ton, but I'm not buying in on USC because that defense did not look good to me today. No, they did not. Uh, I know you could say, well, they held San Jose State under under twenty eight or under thirty points, but I don't care, man. They did not look good. As we mentioned, you know, in the preview, um, San Jose State had a pretty good offense with a lot of experience. But they, back. their best receiver didn't even play today. It's true. Yeah, but Qu- Quail Conley, or, or I'm sorry, Qu- Quali Conley, their backup running back, six rushes, 108 yards, 18 yards a rush against that Trojan <laughs> defense. That is a sieve. <laughs> No, I mean, there, there's some red flags there. That that's, that's still a shitty defense. To yeah. Me. Another, they another got a lot of work to do example of something you can't do against a better team. Yeah. Well, know? they get Nevada next week, so they're not playing a better team. Right. And they get Stanford the week of that. You might the Stanford, if Troy Taylor moves the ball, we're going to be able to watch because I, I mean, don't know. Man. I would expect a similar outcome, even yeah. if that offense yeah. is already going, but I guarantee you once they start facing the meat, of some of those oh, great yeah. quarterbacks if in the they Pac-12, get stopped on a couple of possessions. Dude. Look, God help them if they if they face a defense that can yeah. stop them. Now that might not exist. No, no, no. Until they, the Pac-12, I guarantee you, they're not running the table. There's too many good offenses in the Pac-12. Yeah, it, and and like they're whether it's Jaden Delora, week, yeah. whether it's Michael Penix, whether it's yeah. Cam Rising, whether it's uh, uh, Bo, Bo Nix, especially because you know. you you talk and play defense too. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's still uh, that, guy, that that one play was crazy. It reminded me of L.A. against the Seahawks. Remember when he <laughs> fell down, picked yeah. it up, and fired that laser to Shannon Sharp? Very nice. Um, you you mentioned Zachariah Branch, uh, looking pretty phenomenal. Whew. Number one on USC. The guy's a fucking yeah. stud. We yep. didn't even prep for him on the USC podcast. Yep, All just right? getting her done. Uh, you also mentioned Marshawn Lloyd being a Dematha graduate. Unbelievable, man. When you find out all this shit, Caleb Williams was where uh good counsel or yeah, one of those the schools. rival of Dematha's. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and, uh, th- I mean, th- just think about this. Travion Henderson is, is, is Virginia, all Blake that Corum, talent, Virginia. We're from Virginia. So we're Jordan per- Addison, particularly He's aware still in college. of it's how like, much talent leaves how, the area. How does Maryland or, or 
Virginia, Virginia Tech. Or Virginia or, Tech. Yeah, or some, uh, what are you guys doing? Someone recruit the fucking area, please. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay. And the final FBS game, we'll talk a little bit of the FCS, was the Louisiana Tech Florida International game. Fucking brutal. This one hurt me the most. Even though I, I covered my ass by taking the 12 and a half as well. So I didn't eat shit on this, but God damn it, I could taste, I could taste the money line win here. I could taste it. <laughs> oh, All we needed was a first down. It was right there. It when was he missed the field goal. So FIU was up for 59 minutes, pretty much 58 minutes and change. I think 58 <laughs> minutes and change. They didn't trail. Come on, Mike McIntyre. Uh, I have concerns about some of these teams though. So next week, next week, the main black bears take on FIU. I do think FIU throws for more than four yards. <laughs> Bold take. Bold take here. I guarantee you that FIU throws for, for at least 10 times the amount that they threw for today. That's uh, <laughs> huge numbers. <laughs> this is what we do on the college football experience. Bold prediction. A huge 40 yard performance from old Grace, uh, Grayson, uh, James Grayson. Uh, Grayson James. Uh, look, um, they didn't get on the board. They, they scored 17 points in the first 20 minutes. And for the last 40 minutes, they, they were hanging on for dear life. Yeah. I told you this was a slow death for me. What did I tell you at like the 12 minute mark in the fourth quarter? Yeah. I was like, this is the type They're of game. I would rather down. lose a bet yeah. by 80 fucking points. than like, I knew I was like, they keep getting to like the 30 yard line and missing field goals. Yeah. La tech that is. Yeah. So I was like, FIU. Each time there's three minutes creative. left. Yeah. Three minutes left. They missed the field goal. It's like, <laughs> we got it. We, won. we should win this. No, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> On fucking three and out. And then a slow death <laughs> once again. <laughs> Oh man, folks. Uh, that's so La Tech plays at SMU next week. Uh, I was thinking La Tech and SMU might be a game. Eh, not buying in. <laughs> they fired Skip Holtz. Uh, they got a lot of answers. They got to, they got to, they, they got to figure some shit out before I really buy into the Bulldogs. But SMU. Yeah. That's, that's a, that's a big jump yeah. from Florida international to SMU uh, folks. Before we get to these FCS outcomes, I want to tell you, we're going to do a game ball too. Uh, I want to tell you that the college football experience week zero recap show is brought to you by DraftKings. Yes. You've waited all year long and the time has finally arrived. College football is back. And so are the traditions. So are the tailgates. And so are the great offers from DraftKings Sportsbook. right now. New customers can uh, score $200 in bonus bets instantly when they bet just $5 on any college football bet. Kick off the season with DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app now. Use the promo code SGP. New customers once again can score $200 $200 in bonus bets instantly with the bet just $5 on any college football bet with the promo code SGP. Gambling problem call 1 800 Gambler. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook. Details and state specific responsible gambling resources. Bonus bets expire seven days after issuance. El- eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. Terms at sportsbook.draftkings.com slash football terms. <laughs> We're also brought to you by Sports Gambling Podcast Patreon. Yes, sign up for the Patreon to get access to exclusive contests, including our NFL win totals contest with a thousand dollar first place prize. And the guys just recorded their first Sports Gambling Podcast Stories podcast just for the patrons, chronicling the birth of of the Sports Gambling Podcast Network (SGPN). Uh, there's even a Discord channel for it, and don't get it twisted. SGPN, including us, we're part of SGPN. Hello, uh, we will always give out our picks for free. This is not some this is not some, you know, Vegas Dave shit. All right. Uh, this is uh, what we're doing is just, you know, a Patreon is a great way to support the network and fight back against corporate gambling and all those hacks out there. Sports gambling podcast.com slash Patreon. That's sports gambling podcast.com slash Patreon. I want to note also that Hawaii had a fantastic zero yard punt, <laughs> zero yard uh, to almost win an interception at the Vandy one yard line and to have a zero yard punt. And you still only lost by seven in a way that tells me this team's probably better than we think. Yeah. yeah. I, I think Hawaii fans should be happy with, uh, you know, going against SEC, big bad SEC on the road. How, how long is that trip? Uh, and then they had, ho- how about that? The hotel rooms are right next to the construction site. You, you, <laughs> dirty, it does mean more in the SEC. You dirty dogs <laughs> <laughs> working the, working the fucking jackhammer at 7 a.m. <laughs> Nice. I love it actually. Um, all right. FCS games, North Alabama Mercer, complete shit fest. I ended up, uh, you know, I look in the morning show. I switched my pick to these FCS lines. And in, in case you're just betting SC, or FCS for the first time, they fucking move. They move. Uh, so this morning on the morning show, you know, I originally, this is, I guess you could say this is the first Benedicting 
Um, uh, when we did the SGP show and our show, I laid the, what was it? I think, I think it was 15. If memory serves me correct. Go check. I don't remember this morning when I saw that line at 21, Jeez. I'm like, I got to take North Alabama. <laughs> when did, when did you had the FCS show win Thursday? Yeah, but we called it on our show too. Right. Like, yeah. yeah. So like it moved six points in two days, dude, it, 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 even, even faster. It was like on Friday to Saturday, six points <laughs> fucking insane. That game was crazy. Mercer looked like shit, uh, but they got the win. North Alabama qu- quarterback with a great stiff arm, great stiff arm on a linebacker. Uh, I think his name is CJ Davis. If memory serves me correct. Uh, Noah Walters in North no, Alabama. He's, that's who started. TJ Smith. TJ Smith. TJ Smith. Great stiff arm. Nice. Great fucking stiff arm. Well, that, the, uh, he was a huge improvement. Noah Walters was averaging 3.8 yards per attempt. Oh, TJ, that offense did not look TJ good. TJ Smith steps in with 3.9 yards per attempt. Uh, I mean, honestly, they recovered a fumble in the first, the first, like one of the in the first quarter, at the Mercer like 10 yard line. Right. The guy actually took it back for a touchdown, but they have that stupid rule where you can't advance a fumble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do we have that again? I don't know. I don't like that. I don't like that shit. It but should anyway, be a live ball. Uh, and they got no points out of that because they missed a field goal. That's the difference in the fucking game. If they score that touchdown, it's 14 14 late in that game. Um, <laughs> but shout out to the Mercer Bears. And let me tell you something you came into the preseason here, FCS playoff contenders, you got a lot of work to do on the offensive side of the ball if that's going to be true. Uh, let's talk about Reese fucking Poffenberg and the Albany great Danes who won by 21. Hope you listened to us I here. I told you on that one. Yes. Hard. I was actually leaning for them until, until I heard you hype them up. And then I said, okay, place was rocking. I was having fun watching I'm going this Albany here. Uh, and, and did you see what our guy, our guy, our guy Poffenberger did? What did he get? what did he do? He lit it up. Uh, I'm trying to get two, his 23 numbers. of 40, 253. Four touchdowns, no interceptions. Four touchdowns, no interceptions. Also a good at 47 rushing yards, <laughs> 5.9 yards per rush. No, you can't fade Poffenberger, baby. The Great Danes play at Marshall. It's actually Poffenberger. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's even better. It's, a, it's, Poffin, like, it's not burger. Yeah. Poffenberger. Uh, they play at Marshall. They're probably going to get destroyed, but I'm going to be, it's going to be interesting to watch it. Um, they had like a Ben, but don't break defense because Fordham kept settling for field goals. Uh, then you have one that I was way off on. This is my worst pick of the day because I felt very confident that South Carolina state was going to cover the nine. Yeah. I thought, you know, all the Louie that thought went they out were the a door live dog. I thought they were a live fucking dog against Jackson state. And I mean, what was the score of that game? 30 se- oh no. What, what, what are you talking about? Last year? They, no, they two they, years ago. Celebration. What, it was two years yeah. ago. In the, but buddy Pugh announces that he's retiring after the year. I'm thinking his whole team's going to show up and play for him. Holy shit. Jack and, 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 and how are we feeling right now with uh, Jason Brown's performance after he had 20 straight completions in that game? This is a guy who was Virginia tech's backup quarterback. Grant Wells hasn't had 20 straight completions in his life. though, and <laughs> catch in the backyard. Um, what a do- TC Taylor starting off with a dominating performance for Jackson state, man. They, this was like a, a Royal ass whooping uh, get the total amount of yards. Oh yeah, they beat NC Central in the uh, yeah. celebration bowl. Yeah, Davis year. Richard, NC Central's a stud, and uh, buddy, the total amount of yards here. So I'm trying to do quick math here. I want to say they had like 200 and like 10 yards of offense. Uh, South Carolina State did. Meanwhile, Jackson State uh, sitting there around the 500 mark. I think like 499, right? Yeah, if, uh, I'm looking at it. Yeah, you got it about right. I think it's about 200, 201, and I should just. Go over to team stats instead of looking at individual stats. Team stats. Let's pull it up. Uh, Jackson State total man. yards two hundred one to four ninety nine. Dominant. A, that's an ass whooping. That is an ass whooping. Dion left a lot of that Louie back in yes, Jackson. Yes, and look, they play at Texas State in a couple weeks in San Marcos. Yeah, I was really impressed today. It's either South Carolina State's really bad or Jackson State's decent. Well, he got so much talent to come in the door. How many guys did he take with him? I feel like 12 maybe or something from, or, from Jackson. To Colorado. They, I mean, not necessarily to Colorado, but to the FBS, Kevin Coleman wide receiver went to Louisville. Oh, yeah. A couple other guys went elsewhere, but he had gotten like four and five stars. Yeah. The likes of which hadn't been seen at the uh, HBCU level in a, yeah. in a minute. Um, I mean, does the, is that a model that as a program moving forward, HBCU should like really look into? Cause even if the, you get a superstar coach who is going to leave you in after two or three years. Yeah. At least you have guys. If he leaves you a <laughs> shit ton of talent, you know, you're going to have like five or six winning seasons because of him. 
Uh, I don't know, but how many Deion Sanders are there out there? Probably not too many. Uh, there's a pick Dundee out there. Hello. All right. I, I got a great recruiting pitch. All right. <laughs> Come do Jaeger bombs. All right. Uh, Dude, if Barton Simmons uh, from uh, yeah. like cover three can become a part of the Vanderbilt staff, That's true. we need to get you on. Who, who would you coach for? ECU, obviously. Of course. Okay. Of course. But out here. I'll even dress like a fucking pirate on the sidelines. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mike Leach. I, I feel uh, like coaches should have to dress on um, what their as the mascot. Is. Yeah. yeah, I mean they used to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, uh, Mike Oilers. Leach, yeah, it would have been great. Coach Leach with a pie with a with a, a patch over his eye would have been. Right. Oh, he would have. Yeah. No, but I'm talking about uh, who's the Bum Phillips. Bum Phillips. Yeah, he, he did was, dress like a Texan. An actual like an oil, oil rig <laughs> uh, tycoon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that is that's true. That's a good point, man. That's a very good point, uh, folks. Before we get out of here, we got to do a little game ball action. Patty C. Who, which teams are winning week zero? We don't have a lot of, of diversity here. All the teams that won are the teams that get a game ball. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, how many are we giving out? Hold on. So look, we have NC Nick is I'll get his for tomorrow, but we have our keggers of the of the week, which best player performances. Yeah. You I think you could say, you know, Caleb Williams after that throw. Yeah. Maybe Sam Hartman. Certainly uh, in the conversation. And then we got the game balls of the week. So you got two game balls. I got two. Okay. Game we'll balls are for the tomorrow. teams. Yeah. Wait, for the for the, the Keggers. Is, uh who's so uh, the you Keggers, is, uh quarterback in? Uh Fumacha Khan. Fumacha, Fumacha Khan. Khan. Let's get it going. Kegger of the Probably week. Probably deserves a Kegger. All right. And we gotta give I feel like Kayla Williams and Hartman gotta get one, right? Yeah. I hate it, but both tossing four touchdowns, yeah, no picks. They got to. Clean game. Fumacha Khan. No, that that actually. Let me let me make a prediction. Whoever wins that game between uh, Hartman and Williams in what October between yeah. Notre Dame and USC in South Bend, Heisman will win the Heisman. Wow, I like it. Hot there take. It there it is. Well, I mean, what sort of? If Williams wins, it's not that hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, they're number one in like yeah. six in terms of. Uh, well, Williams already won one, so right. it's like okay, uh, yeah. I can totally see that happening. But whoever wins that is is in the top three, regardless. So <laughs> not much of a hot take. Hey, shout out to Justin Casey he says, Well, 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 they brought you clowns back for another season. One hundred percent, man. Woo. I'll do a fucking backflip right now. All right, <laughs> let's go. Um what about uh yeah, those see and Dean in the chat saying this conference USA matches came through. So hold on, let's get let's get to and he's right. Uh let's get to the the so Caleb Game Williams, balls. Hartman oh, Keggers here. Yeah, Keggers. Caleb Williams, Hartman, Fumacha Khan. Yeah. When you one more. Going Bachmeyer, the come from behind win. You go in. Shager. Uh, Shager, Shager, bomb, Meister, Shager uh, bombs for the. Uh, no, he lost, though. He threw it and he threw the, the, the pick that lost him the game. It could be Swan. Go back. Yeah. What, what does Billy Madison say? Go home, Swan, or something <laughs> like that, right? Uh, Estime uh, for uh, Notre he's a Dame. He's fucking stud. He had a good game. Um, but you can't give two to Notre no, you Dame. Can't, you can't. I don't feel like there's a single player in that Jacksonville State uh, UTEP game that deserves it. Uh, <laughs> probably not in the uh, San Diego State Ohio <laughs> game either. Um, <laughs> no, Redman, the tight end, Redman. He had two touchdowns for San Diego State. He's getting, he's getting the get, final. Throw one. a kegger. Get All right. a keg stand. Now let's get. We'll get Nick's and we'll do, we'll do the ad and we'll put this up on on, on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, Game balls for the teams. UMass got to be the first fucking game ball here. I don't care what anyone yeah. says. Don they Brown, won one UMass. game last. They've won one game the past three years. <laughs> They're way ahead of schedule. Way ahead of schedule is Don <laughs> Brown. Uh, that is the first game ball of the UMass Minutemen. Patty C. Oh no, and you know who we could talk for the Keggers is Poffenberger. Yeah, I feel like Nick's gonna say that. I'm just gonna vote Nick's. That's one of Nick's. You're votes. taking Nick's yeah. one, yeah. Uh, who are you taking for? Uh, uh, you, I gave UMass. Who who are you going with the game ball here? I hate to lean on this too much, but I gotta go. Uh, Marcus Freeman, you know, in Notre Dame. Sure. Because what? Oh, and two to start last year. It was imperative that he gained the confidence of the fans. It's gonna be two and zero this year because Tennessee State's next. Yeah, stellar yeah. performance by Notre Dame. They look sharp and uh, look. That's that's what he needed, and he he's Marcus Freeman is still like the all star. He's still like or an all star. He's going to take this Notre Dame team really far, I think. But you don't want to lose confidence. It's important to win early and not just like shit the bed. So good job. I agree. I agree. It's easy to see a tide turn. Uh, 
I, my second game boss, uh, uh, UMass was first Jacksonville state. You're welcome to the FBS. You're one and oh in the FBS. All right. That was and another you know one. Florida I was going to state do. won't schedule you. Yeah. All right. Jacksonville state rich rod, the program independent of rich rod. Fucking excellent. Jacksonville state yes. yet another yes. FCS to FBS, uh newcomer having a nice start getting it done. So who's your final, who's your final team game ball? We did UMass already, right? Yeah. Okay. So you got, I mean, either some FCS schools or Hawaii. Or, I'm going to do Vanderbilt Hawaii. Or, yeah. I'm going to do Hawaii for making that a nice game. And if they hadn't shit the bed on the goal line, then first losing team to ever get a game ball. Maybe look, tragic magic. Wasn't quite <laughs> there, but to play all the way across the country, you know, across yeah. an ocean and across the country. And to deal with the elements, construction tarps, yeah. fucking jackhammers, jackhammers at 7 a.m. <laughs> the things are SEC looking SEC doing you dirty. That's right. Doing you fucking it dirty. I love it in a way. More. It really does. It really does. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Oh, man. Uh, all right, folks. That's our show. We'll be back. We'll be back. Uh, actually, I'll be back Monday at noon. I'm at, I'm rocking noons. Noons times. <laughs> I've been drinking all day. All right. Noons times. All right. <laughs> let's go. Noons times. Monday through Friday. Noons times. All right. Let's go, folks. Every day at noon, Monday through Friday. Uh, next week, I'll be there. And, and every week moving forward, with the exception of the week I'm in Vegas, uh, give us a follow. All right. Give us a fucking follow. Let's go. At TCE on SGPN. Patty C's on uh, Twitter at, or X, whatever you want to call it at Patty C831. <laughs> I'm on Twitter at the Colby D. Uh, we, you know, follow away. NC Nick on Twitter at NC underscore underscore N I C K. Noah's on a date tonight. He's not with us. <laughs> He's got the LeBaron out <laughs> with the wood paneling. Remember Slick. that? Oh, yeah. 1980s Clark Griswold. Uh, youtube.com slash the college experience. Subscribe, hop on over there. And hey, look, everyone in the chat, shout out to the 51 people watching. Um, get on over to, uh, get on over to iTunes. Give us a five-star review, please, please. Cause I mean, I fucking gave you the score of the, U- I gave you the exact score of the <laughs> USC San Jose state game. And I said, take the team total overs. Right. And then I said, this is my number one lock. Take the, the whole game over and parlay that with Jacksonville state. And that fucking came true today. Let's fucking go folks. Uh, Check out uh, the college basketball experience, college baseball experience, FCS college football experience, big 12 experience, money line max, kick it ass over there with that. You're a big 12 fan or whatever. Maybe you just want to hear about the enemy. Get on over there. Talk about, you know, maybe you're pit fan. You say, I want to know what the hell this West Virginia fans are thinking. Hop on over there. Big 12 experience. We come together as one on YouTube, youtube.com slash the college experience. Check out the sports gambling podcast as they break down all 32 NFL teams. Uh, get the SGPN app. It's free to download in the app store and Google play store. Ed come talk college football with us in the discord or whatever sport, really sports gambling podcast.com slash discord. Until next time, folks, this is the college football experience week zero reaction show. You better start thinking about yours. And we out of here. Run, it's